What's going on guys, Kaiga here. I'm primarily a gaming channel, but with the new season of Dragon Ball Daima coming out, I've been doing some nostalgia watching. I've been watching base Dragon Ball, some Dragon Ball Z, as well as even Super, and the character that keeps standing out to me is Master Roshi. I'm going to walk you through a bit of his backstory, important things he's got going on, his bag of uh, abilities he's able to use, uh, his personality, and show you a couple of clips that show you why he's my favorite character in all of Dragon Ball. Starting from the beginning, we have Master Mutato, who trained uh, Master Roshi and Shin, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, the main ability that killed his ma the master master mutato is the evil containment wave that's one of the abilities master roshi has access to shin the other student does not uh, because only master roshi was around master roshi then teaches it to other students but that's besides the point we have the write-up right here master roshi states that when king piccolo beat mutato uh, he could not deal with the shame of losing in front of his pupils. So what happens is the evil containment wave requires life force to seal them away. Uh, the stronger the enemy, the more life force is required. Uh, now, after the passing of Mutato, uh, Mutato Shin and uh, Master Roshi split their different ways. Shin making the crane school, Roshi made the turtle school. Uh, Master Shin and Master Roshi have this weird immortality which I'll also have an answer for as we go through. Now Master Shin of the crane school, the crane hermit, he is the one who teaches uh, Tian Shinhong and Chiaotzu. Now, uh, Master Shin is Mercenary Tao. If you're familiar, he's one of the earlier enemies of Goku. Um, he was supposed to have died um, when Goku was training on Korn's Tower. Master uh, Tian Shen Hong, oh, sorry, Mercenary Tao went up the uh, to Korn's Tower fought Goku, demanded the Dragon Ball, gave him a black flying Nimbus, went to fly down, flying Nimbus goes away, falls to his death. We'll find out that's not true. Uh, but this is the influence that messed with Master Shin. So Master Roshi follows really close to Master Mutato, very kind, very loving, very nurturing. Master Shin focused on being the best, uh, which his brother, Mercenary Tao, being a mercenary and assassin, had bad influences on Master Shin. We'll also see that works with how Master Shin teaches his two disciples and how he uses them. Move down here. Uh, so he's trying. He tried to make Chiaotzu use his psychic abilities to mess with the fight between Tian and Goku. Um, there's a conversation between Master Roshi and Tian where he doesn't tell him to leave the Crane School. He doesn't tell him to come to the Turtle School. He just emphasizes one of the teachings of the Turtle School, which is be a good person. And Tian does some thinking and really wants to beat Goku in martial arts. Uh, when he sees what's going on, he tells them to stop and wants to fight on his own. And that he's no longer going to be an assassin. Uh, he then later leaves the crane school. To... Uh, Shin orders Chiaotzu to paralyze both of them and kill them both. 
Chao Tzu refuses because uh, Tian is his best friend. Uh, Shen grabs Chao Tzu, tries to kill him, and Master Roshi, seeing that a student is in trouble, shoots the Kamehameha wave and blasts Shen away. Now, one other thing before we get into uh, Master Roshi is the bit the biggest skill that he taught Tian Shinhong is the tri-beam or the uh, Kyoko Ho uh, which is the tri-beam uh, it does a bunch of damage you do the tri and it shoots and we see the Neo tri-beam against Cell version 2 which is able to hold him off for a while the big thing that if you don't know the backstory of Dragon Ball and how the tri-beam or Kyoko Ho really works you don't realize what Tian is putting on the line during the fight with Cell. This ability, the tri-beam, uh, Master Roshi claims that even if the user survives the use of tri-beam, the user's life force will be shortened with each use. So every time he uses this ability that he's been taught, now keep in mind they do have the Dadampa which Chiaotsu knows, which is similar to the Kamehameha wave, uh, the, their best student, Tian, was taught the tri-beam, which requires life force, which puts his student at risk, which is why Master Roshi doesn't like it. Now, with Master Roshi, the reason why he's able to live so long is... This mistress herb that only comes up at one time during Super. Uh, the Paradise Herb is the source of Master Roshi's unnaturally long life. He claims that eating some of it will allow him to live another thousand years. Um, him and Shin, it's not stated explicitly that Shin does it, but he states that he learned about it during his teachings with uh, Master Mutato, which stands to reason that Shin would know about it, seeing as Shin is still alive as well. Uh, this only allows him to live through uh, old age. Other sources will obviously kill him. Now, <laughs> I'm going to ignore the stupid part up here, which is part of his uh, thing. I'm going to read you this last part, which is very important to the Turtle School. We must master the art of peace in addition to the art of war. We achieve victory by the art of war. Victory is won through strategy. Strategy is derived from the art of peace. However, if someone evil threatens you or any other good innocent people with unethical force, it is your duty to defend. We see that through Sun Tzu. Um, we see that through Roosevelt. Carry a, uh, walk silently and carry a big stick very similar to that mindset now there's three abilities four technically one is Roshi exclusive but there's three abilities that are part of the school you have the solar flare which is actually both schools the crane and uh, turtle hermit school uh, which shoots a white light to blind people so you can either get away use it to advantage in the fight or whatnot we have probably the funniest one rock paper scissors which is very interesting because uh, as we see right here corresponds to attack equals wrong a uh, rock which is a strong punch chokey scissors poke in the eye paw equals paper which will be an open palm strike so this is basic martial arts, very Miyagi, Master Miyagi teaching. As we see in the picture down here, Roshi blocking Goku's scissors going for the eye. And of course we have the Kamehameha wave. Uh, we all know about it, um, but the only thing that we find out that is really needed for the thing is to actually just say the name of the attack. It's very similar to the Masenko of Gohan, which is a version of... It's a blending of the Kamehameha versus the Special Beam Cannon, 
uh, which uh, Piccolo Jr. comes up with after seeing the Kamehameha wave. Uh, what's important here is you can do it with both hands, one hand, or from the feet, which is very interesting. The one that's Roshi exclusive down here is the Max Power, which is one of the first transformations we see in it, right? Now, I correlate this with Grade 3 Super Saiyan. We'll see a lot of the same buffs and nerfs in the ability. So, in this state, Master Roshi has full power, can perform many of his techniques at full potential. Most notably, Max Power Kamehameha which we will see. I'll show you some examples. While its full power is unknown, Roshi was able to easily destroy the moon, while the likes of even King Piccolo could only destroy a city. During the original Dragon Ball, however, this form is deeply flawed. Master Roshi's movement is slowed, and he can barely move uh, during the form, and using an energy attack will waste almost all of his energy very similar to grade three this is trunks trying to break the limitations of super Saiyan, trying to get to super saiyan 2. according to one source it's weaker than super saiyan 2 while according to another another source it's 10 times the previous form which is super saiyan 1. so there they were unsure of where the power level of it is but it uh, is breaking the limits of base Super Saiyan. Though slows the user substantially, this form draws out the power of the Super Saiyan to its limits. Exactly the same as Grade 3. So even as a human, Master Roshi is doing a lot of the same things the Saiyans can do. We don't see him use max power very often because at his base... Master Roshi is a very uh, tac tactical fighter, but when he sees that he needs to go beyond his limits, he busts out the max power. I'm going to show you three clips of some very important things. We're going to see a manga-only fight. Uh, there's no noise. I will be reading it out and explaining what's happening of Master Roshi versus Jiren. This is a very important fight that only happens in the manga uh, and then I'm going to show you the anime version which is Master Roshi's run and the most powerful Kamehameha as well as the fallout afterwards so let's jump into that starting off with Master Roshi versus Jiren Master Roshi going into the tournament of power has a very clear thing that he's doing we see it more clearly in the uh, super version which we will go through after this but this is the manga only where Roshi as an example is showing Goku he can always go beyond his limits uh, as well as the core tenets of the turtle school uh, as I said there's not going to be any noise uh, to this one and the other two it will be the dubbed version. I apologize for people who prefer subbed but uh, there are a lot of audio style listeners that I want to cater towards. This one right here, four minutes, the links to all three clips are going to be in the description down below. Master Roshi versus Jiren. Uh, I'm going to speed it up a bit because I'm go only going to stop when it's necessary. Learn to watch your step. Not bad, old man. Goku falls down. There's no one in this guy's power. What do I do now? Versus Jiren. It's after the first struggle with Jiren. Where Goku fights him at base form. Uh, unable to even get past his aura. <laughs> then he goes Super Saiyan. Where now he can make contact with Jiren's body. Then he goes Super Saiyan 2 where he lands one kick that makes him move just very slightly his head. Uh, then he goes through God, no real change, through blue, and then he's blocking him with one finger. And that is where we're at right now. Hey Goku, don't tell me you're struggling. It's like my attacks don't even phase Jiren. 
Sheesh. Looks like my apprentice still needs my help. Goku, what does strength mean to you? He is Son Goku's master. Strength? Well, even my Super Saiyan Blue form can't keep up with him, so I guess I need some kind of greater power? Power, you say? Plain old fighting strength? Who the heck taught you that? Vegeta? Frieza? That's their mentality. That is, in essence, the crane school mentality. You are a disciple of the turtle school. You need to be better technician, not just flat out power. Reminding him. No, that's no way to measure things. Pure power. I don't get it, Gramps. Jiren getting upset on the sidelines. We don't master martial arts to win fights. We do it to conquer ourselves. Until you learn not to get all caught up in the enemy's power, you'll always be as green as the day we met. Think of all your masters along the way. What do they teach you? Master Corrin. Too much waste of movement. That's why you ran out of breath quickly. This was when he was above uh, ground level and was doing training with Corrin. Promised him that he would give him uh, water from the uh, fountain, which would make him stronger, if he uh, was able to catch him. Then once he got quick enough, did better, he gave him the water, but the water was just plain water. The placebo effect. Then we have Kami. Be, uh, Ka Primarily Popo is the main one who taught this. Be as tranquil as the heavens and as quick as a bolt from the blue from the sky. Want to be the best in the universe? Then you got to train your body, but also your spirit. Don't allow your mind to control your movement. Every part of your body must judge and act on its own from Whis. Goku, do you eat well, rest well, play well, learn well? Those are the tenets of Turtle School. Sure, well, I don't know about learning well. <laughs> One last lesson from the Turtle School, then. On how to move well. Running up at Jiren. Straight punch at his face. Last second dodge that no one saw. Not even Jiren. Goes through. Straight under him. Oh, first the hit. Dodge back. Straight. There's the straight under him. Just moving with a quickness that he can't keep up with. Hey, Whis, those moves are talking about Ultra Instinct. A strong semblance. Through his wisdom. They talk about it in a second. A resemblance, yet still a far cry from that technique. Ultra Instinct. He, from his years of fighting, knows how fighters react. Through um, playing hard, training hard... Uh, resting well so his body can react. He is calm. He's doing everything that he needs to as a fighter. Thought so. No one could ca say that old Coot would do it. With his age comes great wisdom. And it's similar principle. How were you moving like that from Goku? Sheesh, I sure did talk big, but I've got a ways to go too. Look into your heart, Goku. You'll find an answer in there. Going back in. Jiren upset. <laughs> Dodges him, goes for the knockout. <laughs> And that's how he gets knocked out in the manga. 
That ge geezer had to fall sooner or later. Kami did survive quite a while, but I dare say he left behind something far greater. Observe, something about Son Goku has changed. What you mean? Son Goku, your master still has things to teach you? You're that inexperienced? A man like yourself will never be perfected. Perfected? I don't want that, because that would mean stopping, standing in place, while I'm always aiming higher. And my master's as good a teacher as ever. And that was when he unlocks Ultra Instinct in the manga. Now let me show you how he does it in Super. I really wish they could have blended both of them because I love that teaching of moving well. But we'll see how Master Roshi trains him here. Now at this point, this is in the Tournament of Power. And this, Master Roshi is focusing on the not strongest opponents, but the trickier opponents. He is going out looking for the ones that he thinks would trick Goku. Because Goku is still kind of gullible. And him as a seasoned fighter is going out and watching for his disciples. Making sure that an old seasoned person like himself takes out the trickier of opponents. Now let's see how this works. <sighs> I can imagine you must have been a pretty decent fighter in your time. But unfortunately for you, that time has come and gone. Now this is also after he has a fight with Kefla. This is also after he had the run-in with Frost. With Vegeta, where he does the evil containment wave twice. So his li life force is already kind of low. And then he also does a very very mini uh, Kamehameha throws it like a bead and then controls it uh, where he that's where Yamcha learned it uh, the spirit ball is what they call it uh, in Dragon Ball uh, he controls it uh, gets Vegeta out there so Vegeta can fight Frost so he's already done quite a bit and he also had a fight with the universe 9 or 11 I think the uh, the women um, where he has a run in with the women uh, from that world so he's already done quite a bit knocked out two people helped with a third <coughs> still trying to get back up stop embarrassing yourself just accept your limitations and he's gracefully the into limitations. retirement my limitations can go straight to hell. No, don't do it, Master Roshi! Yeah. This made me cry when I rewatched it about a week ago when I decided to make this video. This and the next clip really tug on your heartstrings when you know the whole context of the Kami school. Don't push too hard! Goku, Krillin... You're the ones who showed this old fossil he still had something left to give. That it was too soon to let the limits of age sentence him to sit idly by on the sidelines. You boys who were never content to stop, who kept aiming for and climbing greater and greater heights, want me to take it easy? No, no, you don't! This is Come such on, an amazing moment. Now listen to me, boys! Uh -huh. Always remember these words. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That is the Turtle Hermit way. We must master the art of peace in addition to... We must master the art of peace. The art of war! Shut and up and fight! As well as the art of war. The Turtle Hermit School will be with you. Always. This will be my greatest most power. This is a passing of the torch. Very similar. This is a, uh, I apologize for pausing, but like I said, the link's down below if you would like to just see this moment. This moment does make me tear up when I watch it. So, the, before this, the best passing of the torch 
I've seen in a while was My Hero Academia, where uh, All Might does that final bit of uh, All for One and loses that power. This is a direct call to that, in my opinion. Very, very similar. This is passing the torch. Now, he says the turtle school lives with you because he believes this last final Kamehameha during full power. Because, remember, during full power mode, this is the uh, his max power Kamehameha, which, at full strength not doing any previous fighting would take most of his power. He's already done a bunch of fighting. He's used the evil containment wave twice, which killed his previous master. Um, and this is a callback to Mutaito, who was trying to finish a foe so his students didn't have to. So many layers, so many callbacks, such a beautiful thing going on as well as in my opinion I understand there was uh, the last 105 uh, in the super manga where this is during the Gohan Beast arc where they're leaving after um, in, after the school thing and uh it was the last one that Akira Toriyama had his hands on helping out with. And he said, I think that uh, Piccolo should be waving back to the uh, school teacher. So in a lot of ways, people are looking at that as his final goodbye passing the torch. But I look at Master Roshi as Akira Toriyama's self-insert, teaching the ways of the Turtle School to all generations. In a lot of ways, I see this as a more beautiful passing of the torch from Akira Toriyama to the rest of the um, the reading audience, and the waving of Piccolo as I, I'm sorry I don't uh, I don't remember the pronunciation of uh, Akira Toriyama's uh, student who has taken up the rest of Dragon Ball Super going forward. Uh, who is still doing a great job, obviously. But I see as that wave, because that's the last one that Akira Toriyama worked, uh, helped work on, was the student saying, it's okay, Master, you're fine. You can, you can leave now. I will take on your mantle. And I see Master Roshi right here in this moment as passing the torch uh, to Goku and Krillin and the rest of the school in the same way as uh, Kira Toriyama saying goodbye to all of us. I'm going to rewind it just a little bit so you can get that full effect. No, no you don't! Come on, just go down already! Now listen to me, boys! Uh -huh. Always remember these words. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That is the Turtle Hermit way. We must master the art of peace in addition to the art of war. Shut up and fight! The Turtle Hermit School will be with you. Always. This will be my greatest, most powerful time And I want you to look at the beam, right? It is a beautiful direct straight line this is Kamehameha every time you see Goku use it there's a kind of a waviness to it uh, if he does it at range it kind of moves a bit anyone that uses Kamehameha there's fidgeting on the sides and such this is a beautiful straight line And people say, oh yeah, all the beam attacks uh, falter when it goes further away. You just saw it go straight through the enemy and through uh, out of bounds. And it was still a beautiful straight line. Oh, come on, Ganos, not you too! I knew 
knew you could do it, you old coot! Hold on, that's no old coot, that's Master Roshi! That's Master Roshi. Now, the next scene I'm going to show you is directly after. Master Roshi has used all of his life force, and he is effectively dead. Roshi, no! Wait, you can't do that! You aren't allowed to go back in the ring! Goku, please! Roshi! Now we have Goku in a fight, panicking, because he's already lost his grandfather, Grandpa Gohan. No, I'm sorry. He's lost a lot of people, and he's never been this frantic before. Uh, he ignores the fight and immediately rushes to Master Roshi. Hang on, we're in the middle of something here. <laughs> Master! <laughs> Master Roshi! Blasting him with a god Come key on, to up. try to revive him. You've got to get up, Roshi! Please, Master Roshi, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Goku! You can do it! Wake up for me, please! And there's no real ex explanation of what's happening here, besides just his pure intentions. And that's something that we see uh, all the time with Super Saiyan, is pure intentions that's also when they talk about going into super saiyan god uh five uh i forget the wording they used when they did the ritual to give goku that first burst of super saiyan uh god uh they needed five pure intentioned saiyans as well as the original to get to super saiyan at all it was supposed to be good nature Master Roshi? <coughs> it worked! They're alive again! Hey, where'd all those spunky little angels fly off to? Oh, Master Roshi! Oh, Master Roshi, you're okay! Thank goodness. That's enough now. The fight ain't over yet. Get up and lend me your shoulder, boy. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Hey, Curly. Yes, sir? That old fossil. Just what did you say his name was again? Man, I really thought you'd crossed over to Otherworld. <laughs> I did. There were cute, spunky angels everywhere, far as the eye could see. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, in the first version, the manga version, there's a direct, a very, very direct uh, awakening for Goku shown through Master Roshi, which I do love that. But even I watched it four different times in the past couple days, this uh, anime version hits super hard. For the viewer, uh, there's the Toriyama references, there's the callbacks, uh, Roshi trying to, even though he's long since uh, been outpaced, using his skills as a fighter to go after these strategic enemies that would be tough for Goku, and then putting his life on the, on the line, not for un the universe, for Goku and Krillin. Let me know what you guys think down below. Till next time, guys.